you just get stabbed right away. If you oh wanna... my God. We're about to do a segment that might seem a little uncomfortable for people. And I want to say, but this is a justice segment, okay? I'm going to be telling you about people that literally got their ass handed to them in jail after they were touching kids. I need you guys to take a look at this article because I stumbled on this today and I was like, oh, oh, because this is important. All right. This is important. This is from 2019, but the sentencing just came recently. Anti-gay preacher stuns congregation, confesses to underage boys. Anti-gay preacher has been arrested after confessing to his congregation that he had a with a younger person. Let's just break this down for a second. There's more details in terms of the assault, but I want to talk about, <laughs> I want to talk about the method in which this happened. This guy literally went to do his sermon on that Sunday, and instead the sermon was about the relationship that he had had with a child. To me, this sounds like somebody's dad showed up to his house with a <coughs> gun and said, you tell everyone or I'm going to tell everyone and you're not gonna like the way that I tell everyone. It makes no sense to me why the pastor would just start saying this in a sermon. <laughs> I think that somebody found something out and they threatened this guy into telling everything. And I wanna talk about this for a second because there are so many people that were abused and they were afraid to tell someone and they didn't know that there were dads like this. that would be angry on their behalf. Like sometimes children are convinced that they're not going to be believed, but we need to talk more about stories about the dads that will show up at this dude's house and threaten the f***ing shit out of him. I just want to talk to him. Because I don't think that he just woke up one day from this and wanted to have a clean conscience. This man was preaching against, you know, LGBTQ communities. He was an anti-gay pastor because he was in denial of his own actions. This man was never going to wake up and tell all. I believe that somebody made him do it. How many of y'all, if you found out something was happening to your kid, I don't want to see that version of myself. I just want to remind you guys, it, you, need, you need to talk. People will believe you and they, oh, people will believe you. Former Florence pastor sentence, now a registered a former Florence pastor uh, who admitted to having inappropriate relationships. He had multiple relationships with multiple, somebody's dad showed up, okay? Wait, I just want to talk to him. I just want to show up. He was originally sentenced to 10 years. He might only have to serve six years. I'm not entirely sure because, you know, people be appealing and everything all day. We've talked about this a little bit before. Guys, what happens to in prison? I actually talked about this story, I want to say probably about a year ago, because this story is about a year old, and I remember when it originally came out. Man gets 25 years for killing his underage sister's in prison. These two were cellmates, and, and there's actually quite a bit to this story. I'm going to avoid reading the whole article to you guys, but basically this guy over here to the right, uh, Robert Munger, he was a convicted he had gone after multiple young girls. And when this guy, Shane Goldsby, was put in a cell with him, one thing that Robert liked to do because he was a sick man was he liked to talk about his crimes. He liked to talk about what happened to children. He liked to talk about the emotions he felt. He was trying to literally trigger Shane. And while this guy, Robert, keeps talking about these crazy stories of all the messed up stuff that he's done, you know, Shane says, y'all need to get me out of the cell with this man. He's going to the prison guards and he's saying, get me out. In 2020, he was transferred into a cell with Robert Munger, a man serving a 43 year sentence for <laughs> crimes. Munger would brag about his crimes, which included convictions for <laughs> and child, everything, okay? He kept giving me details about what happened and what he did, about the photos and the videos of him doing stuff. And it was just building up. So Shane keeps asking for another cellmate and they just kind of ignore it until one day Robert tells a story that Shane realizes is all too familiar. And he realizes that Robert is talking about his sister because he knew the names, he knew the cases and the everything. Robert doesn't know that Shane that he's talking to is, is the underage girl's brother. He has no idea. And as soon as Shane figures that out, he just <coughs> loses it. I mean, he loses it. He basically beat this man to a pulp. Oh, they're going to have to glue you back together. 
in hell. I was like, what the f***? <laughs> this stuff doesn't happen. You're talking the same institution, the same unit, the same pod, and the same cell as this dude. That's like hitting the jackpot in the casino seven times. Shane had to talk about it later, and he had to apologize to the, seven, the family of the 70-year-old. Shane actually said in court, I cannot imagine what it would be like to lose a loved one in this kind of way. To his wife and his whole family, I apologize. I am so sorry, and I hope you're able to heal from what I caused. Now, I need to be very clear. You and I, we're thinking the same thing right now, okay? But because I have a platform and I need to be responsible, I can't say nothing right now. So you and me, we're thinking the same thing, okay? Are we good? <laughs> Are we good? You know, part of me is telling some of these stories because there's a lot of kids that had a lot of bad shit that happened that never got to speak up and they don't feel safe now, they didn't feel safe then, and you need to know that there are people in the world that will take care of you. There are people in the prison institutions that are gonna beat that person to a pulp. There are people outside of the prison institutions that are going to put them in jail. Please be that person for those kids. Please be that person, please. Please! Wife shoots husband after children at her daycare said that he molested them. Days later, he's charged. Now, it appears that the man survived. Basically what happened was there were three different parents that came to this woman, uh, Shantari Weems, that owned the daycare, and they called him out. This is still developing. He hasn't been charged with anything quite yet, but you think you're gonna take down my business? You think you think you gonna hurt these kids? I signed up to take care of these kids to raise him, and you gonna come in my house and do this shit? Okay. Now he survived. He's gonna get tried. They're gonna pull out all the evidence, and they're gonna send him to jail. What happens to other <coughs> child molesters in prison? I found a video from a man who was in jail that's gonna explain that to us in detail, and I'm very curious. The stakes in prison. Why child molesters automatically get killed in prison? I just need to know. Oh my god! <laughs> when you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professionals. <laughs> We're thinking the same thing, you and I. But I have a platform and I can't say anything. If you win it. Can anyone from jail confirm, please? I know some of you guys are gonna be bullshitting in chat. I need, I need real jailbirds here. Yes. Oh, dude, my nosy ass. I'd, I'd be requesting the full report from the police station. If your celly came in and you read his paperwork and it said he's a child molester, you would have to kill him or you would get killed. <gasps> that's how it works. There's no way around it. Is that why he had to kill that man? Oh, that's just crazy though. Because if you get put in a if you get put in a cell with somebody that's a like a child molester or a rapist, and you have to do that, otherwise other people in GP will get mad at you or kill you or something like that. That sucks because you're just getting like 20 years added to your sentence now just because who you got teamed up with. It's like, bro, come on. Can you please do me a favor? Can you promise to never go to jail, please? Like, and if you've been before. Can you just promise you're not going back? Can you break break the cycle? I understand it happens a few times. You're figuring some shit out. I am mad at you, but can you can you not? Okay, if you say it, then maybe it won't happen. Okay.